Commentary done by Diggity Upper Left and Corner. We have Striker starting as the Blue Zerg. Bottom left and corner, we have Siriasi starting as the Red Protoss. This is the first game of the second set on Fighting Spirit, part of Fighting Spirit Mania. By the way, I believe there is a Discord server. There's also a predictions thread. I'm not sure if it's too late to hop in the predictions. And also, while I'm thinking about it, there's the New Worlds map contest. Be sure to check out the New Worlds map contest if you have not already on Team Liquid. Uh, the first New Worlds map contest, I believe, gave us like Wavelet and Goodnight and some really f neat maps. I think Turbine was resubmitted. Maybe it's a new version of Turbine for the Rooping 2. I did see some, some matches on that map. But, yeah, should be an interesting contest. I do not know if this series was played, or this second set was played immediately after. But things not looking good for Seriosity thus far. I'm hoping that he can pull out a game against Striker. Striker Overlord checking the upper right-hand corner first. It looks like he is going to once again open up with a 9 pool. This time, Seriosity going to have the advantage of first scout. So he's going to be able to wander into that base. But you can just see Striker... I feel like this is where he differentiates himself in playstyle a bit from Hawk, is they have very similar, very intelligent build orders. But Hawk, I feel, play, will more often play a little bit more macro defensive, where Striker looks for opportunities to pull the trigger and win the game, and just has, at times, that killer instinct. Drone wandering in, going to go ahead and attack that hatchery rather than bother with drones. It looks like he he's going to go ahead and plant that forge down first. I'm almost wondering... Is Seriosity skipping the one gate opener just because of the... I mean, it makes sense with just huge distances on this map. That's one thing about Fighting Spirit is, is the spawn locations are so long that pretty much automatically you're going to have to assume that it's going to turn into more of a macro matchup. Initial six circlings are being produced. Seriosity now going to trail that drone to go ahead and try to blockade that natural expansion from being built. The drone actually turning around and engaging. We have a fight! Actually, the drone is going to back off briefly, wait for the Zerglings to clear that probe out. Two cannons down on the front, preventatively for Seriosity. wonder if he could have snuck a single cannon there. Probe wandering up, does get the blockade, takes a single drone hit, spit in the face as a result, but did its job. The Zerglings chasing it down. And now the Zerglings in flight. The cannons will be up in plenty of time. Seriosity going to follow that up with a Nexus. In the meantime, no gas yet for Striker, which suggests to me that he is planning on grabbing that third hatch before gas. He is wandering this drone to the 12 o'clock location. Let's see if that probe can once again get at least some form of delay. The Zerglings being pushed back, gateway now up for Seriosity. And again, able to create a bit of disruption. The Zergling trying to chase it back. But finally, that third hatchery being planted. You do have that extractor that looks like it was placed well beforehand. So now, yeah, Striker, both Striker and Hawk do a fantastic job. I need to stop talking about Hawk in the midst of this. It's just in Crossy. It's NA Zergs. Really impressed with them. That's actually specifically why I wanted this uh, grouping. One, to highlight Seriosity, but also because I, I love the NA Zergs these days. But specifically... I feel like a lot of their build orders are so abusive where they really put Protoss in a position where they're not quite sure what they need to do with the information they have at hand to counter. Hydralis Den, so it looks like potentially another 973 situation with that probe scout being taken out. Simon X core warping in. And let's see if Seriosity can get some additional scouting information. And can macro up and do a little bit of... And be able to repel it this time. Very difficult when you don't see it coming. Hydralisk speed being upgraded. Which suggests we are going to see at least some form of dedication to early Hydralisk pressure. Three drones already there. Looks like we also have that drone being built. No additional attempt at getting a probe out on the base. We do have level 1 weapons being built. One thing I have seen as an interesting variation... Is, in, is still getting the early forge, but getting a second forge very early and not even bothering with attempting to get weapons one right off the bat at this forge when you've lost scouting information, things like this. Preventative pylon 
at the natural. But right now, Seriosity completely being in the dark. He doesn't know whether he's going up against 3 Edge Muta. He's going to have to wait until potentially Corsairs are built. He's going for a Citadel of a Dune. Instead of Stargate. So just hoping that he's not going up against Muta play in this regard. So we do have the three drones, this one, kind of going out way to the corner. And the Hydralis production begins. Speed is upgraded, range now upgrading. And two Zealots and a Dragoon moving forward for Seriosity. Very interesting play. They're going to get overwhelmed in short measure by the amount of Hydralisks that are out in the field. But in the short term, that is going to provide a bit of scouting information. Specifically that it's Hydralisks that he's up against. So all of that getting wiped out very, very quickly. Seriosity is probably hoping to have that on his front door for the defense. Third cannon warping in. He needs to get a fourth and potentially even a fifth. And he doesn't have a lot of Zealots to go ahead and push this back. Zealot Lake Speed to halfway finished. He is plopping down two additional gateways. And the Hydralis already working on that corner gateway that is not covered by a cannon. And this is not looking good for Seriosity. Striker pulling that corner. The Zealots... The Zealot almost looking panicked there, trying to find a corner. Another pylon being preventatively pushed on the force, and Striker pulling the trigger, realizing that there's just not a lot of attack force to defend this. Able to wipe out all the standing cannons. More Hydralisks are flooding this direction. Probes off the line. It looks like the probes are able to pin and get some Hydralisk kills, however. Still lost mining time. Second pylon up. The cannon up. The probes still being attacked on the front, but currently the front does hold. Now the forge being pecked away at. Weapons 1 might finish. Another cannon warping in on the front. So Seriosity able to defend this thus far with some battle probes. The forge... Oh, this is going to be close. Weapons 1 actually canceled by Seriosity to get additional resources to go ahead and get some cannons down to at least stay in this match. More Hydralisks are flooding down. One cannon standing. That gets wiped out. Two Zealots are able to engage from those two gateways from the main. The Hydralisks trying to kite back and forth in the midst of this. Currently not a lot of defense for Seriosity. Seriosity once again pulling probes off the line. Second cannon getting knocked down. And finally another cannon. These two cannons finally going to warp in. Two zealots alongside. Third zealot joining. So Seriosity at least surviving. Does have a second base up. But more Hydralisks are piling up at the natural. Now wiping out those zealots on the front. Diving in once again. Able to pick off one cannon and now a second cannon. And there's GG from Seriosity. Seriosity making a fight of it. But Striker just executing very, very well. And that is, yeah, what, oof, been brutal thus far in these matches. I really hope Seriosity can pull out one of these matches. I'm almost hoping for Proxy, to be honest, or something along those lines. A little bit harder to pull off in Fighting Spirit for a large amount of reasons, particularly against uh, the, the current... Zerg meta. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for listening.